Welcome to Kindle Love Stories. It's book club time again. And this time we're having our book club at Rancho Valencia Resort and Spa, which is 45 acres of lush gardens and pools and spa in Southern California's Rancho Santa Fe. And I'm telling you, it's stunning here. It is stunning. So if you have not been here, you need to come and check it out. We are so lucky to talk about this month's book club selection, Homecoming Ranch by Julia London. And we picked the book thanks to your votes. We asked you, who should our leading man be? And you decided, it was a narrow vote, but you decided the guy next door. And the second vote was Cowboy. So we kind of had a book that combined <laughs> both of those. And we had Luke. Homecoming Ranch is a book, a great book, where Madeline, our heroine, finds out at like age 30 that she has two sisters that she never knew about because her father has died, who she never knew about, and she's inherited a ranch in Colorado. So she goes to check out the ranch and to meet her sisters and decide what the heck to do with this ranch she didn't know she had. And along the way, she meets a hunky guy next door named Luke. So what do you guys think about Luke, our guy next door? Hot. Hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And smart. You know, yeah. let's I define that. hot. Because I think hot is a bigger word than just, yeah. you know, abs, which I'm not complaining <laughs> about abs. But the man is heroic. Yeah, but mm. he's like unassuming. Right. You know, he's a guy he's next kind of, door. He's a guy next door. And he cares about his family. Yes. And he's chivalrous. Yes. Yes. He's like everything you want. And I he's know. flirtatious. He was yes. little, you know, had he's, those moments where you're like, he's being the guy. Right. Yeah. He's kind of cocky. He's a guy's yeah. guy. Do you right. do you like a cocky guy? Is that what you guys like? Do you like a cocky guy? <laughs> well, I, I mean, think of him as too cocky. No. You know? no. No. His brother is way more cocky. Yeah. Leo is the yeah. cocky guy. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about Leo for a moment. This is an interesting spin because Leo is Luke's younger brother and Leo is disabled and he is a narrator in the book. Mm -hmm. And he comes in with a very unique perspective and quite a sense of humor. Yeah. What did you all think of Leo swooping in and giving us that kind of refreshing narrator's point of view? I, I liked it. I mean, it was um, ref not only refreshing, but I think that in some ways he was kind of the caretaker of Luke in the way that he wanted it, it to be okay for Luke for Luke that he had this disability. Yeah. Well, Luke had yeah. all this responsibility on his shoulders to care for his family, his dad yeah. and his brother. But if you read closely, it was really Leo that was yeah. taking care of everybody. Yes, yeah. you know? I know. Yeah. And that brings us to another theme because we actually had a question yeah. from one of our Kindle Love Stories viewers. Sarah just wanted to ask, what do you think about the theme of family in Homecoming Ranch and how important that that was to the characters? Mm. Mm. Huge. I mean, one thing is, is Madeline discovered that she had family really right. late in life. Right. And that, I can't even imagine finding out now that I have two sisters I no, didn't know, I know about all this time. That would be an amazing gift. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't it? Yes. You know? It seemed like she always wondered what it would have been like to have a family because she never, she never had that. So she had this image of, you know, what a family was. And then here she was dropped a family on her lap and it yeah. didn't quite turn out to be what she, <laughs> what she thought it was going to be, but still like she wanted to, to, you know, hold on to that. I think it she took was her some time. Yeah. Because at first I think she had these, it was outside of her box. Yeah. It was outside of her yes. plan. Yes, for sure. And so as much as she wanted a family, she had to adjust to the idea of who are they. And like they said, she didn't even take that time to really get to know them because this whole thing was just such a shock, shock to her system. Well, and I think she created a world where um, she she had grown up in a, in a family or her mother and her. Quasi. A quasi family, <laughs> I guess, um, where she really had to be take care of herself. And so I think she created this kind of wall and box around mm -hmm. herself. And that's why everything had to be like highlighted and perfect <laughs> right. and in a box right. and stuff like that. And um, th she was thrown this loop yeah. in life that forced her to open and step outside that box. Let's talk about that further. And let's talk about Madeline for any of you out there who haven't oh, read the yeah. book. Yeah. Madeline is our heroine, okay? And this woman, to start off, she's going to a ranch and she wears high heels and like a suit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and her hair in a bun. So I think it's not a stretch to say Madeline's a little tight. Uptight. 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 Yeah. And she really likes highlighter pens. Yeah, that was and cute. And she likes folding things and she likes putting things in order. And I think everybody to some degree can relate. I mean, I'm definitely not the most organized person. I will admit that. But I do like my highlighter pens. Do you? Do you like your highlighter pens? I mean, do you have something in line with the highlighter pen that gives you that feeling of security when things are out of control for you? 
for me, I'm like a big note taker. If I'm going to leave home, you know, this is what you need. This is when you, what you need to feed the children. This is where you put them to bed. This is da 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 da. You know, here's the and that's the your aspirin. husband. And that's my husband. <laughs> but somehow it helps me feel like you know they're going to be okay. When you know, in reality, of course they're going to be fine. And and her life was that she left behind, moved on, and carried on without her. And but she couldn't get past that, and yeah. you know, needs that order and structure and ha yeah. having things She's highlighted. She's the daughter of an well, alcoholic. But right, what, right. Her life what's was your, out of control. What's your security blanket out there? What do you use when you're feeling kind of out of control that makes you feel like you can put your life in order and take control back? For me, it's the same thing, list taking, to-do list. I like to like, yes. cross things off. Mm -hmm. Right. Do I you ever even, finish it? Always. Every day. I make a to-do list literally every so single good. day. Me too. All I, I do is there. make lists so I can cross stuff off. <laughs> I'm just put things on there just so you can cross them off. Make no, a list. Yay! Yeah, make a list. <laughs> Did it! I know for me that like when my house is <clears throat> a mess, it's it's totally reflective of where I am in my life. And then I have to clean it. Because when I clean it, then I feel like I'm in control again. Mm -hmm. Kindle Love Stories audience member Annie asks us, have you ever compared sex to sports? Hmm. Because as you know, there's a lot of sports analogies in yeah. this book. We've got the Super Bowl, we've got Leo telling Madeline about um, right. baseball. I'm sure my husband has. I'm sure he has. <laughs> I'm sure he has. Since I he know your husband. He's and quite I... a sportsman. <laughs> so let's talk about people. the steamy love scene between Luke and Ooh. Madeline. Yes. I personally like a good sex scene in a book. Right. And I don't need it to be really explicit and really no. crazy out there. I just want to kind of feel the excitement that the characters are feeling and kind of be immersed in the romance. Right. Do you think that this book delivered on that? Yeah. That scene, absolutely. The hard rain coming down, yeah. they're kind of stranded at his house that's just perfectly done. I love that. So, Have you ever kissed in the rain? It's in every yes. movie, every book. I haven't. Kissed in the rain. Have you kissed in the rain, Leslie? I don't think so. Oh. Put it on our list. We'll make a list. Okay. Put it on kiss your bucket list. Yeah. That needs to be checked off. Yes. I've never kissed in the rain. I've gotten really cold and felt like my hair got messed up and ran quickly to my car in the rain. <laughs> That's the same thing. That's <laughs> very close. Exactly the same. Have you ever kissed in the rain? I'm really actually very curious about this because this is what's depicted in all the books right. and all the movies. It's like that height of abandon and we're in the rain and we shouldn't be running for cover but we're going to stop. The lightning's going to kill us at any moment. Yes, Who cares? We don't care about the lightning. We just want to get down and dirty and kiss. Have you kissed in the rain? I really want to know. Is this something that comes from real life or is this only in fantasy? Let me yeah. know at KindleLoveStories.com or in our Kindle Love Stories Facebook page. You know what? I want to talk about the leap of faith, okay? Because what I really loved about this book is that theme. That when Luke, when Luke told Madeline, life is messy and you mm -hmm. have to just go with it, basically. Right. Yeah. To me, that was the major theme of this book is that you can't think your way through life. Right. You have to true. feel your way through life. It's so true. And you have to leap without seeing where you're going to land. And if I had one like mantra for my life at this point in my life, that would be it. Take yeah. leaps. Absolutely. So that really resonated with yeah, me. Yeah, you boiled it down And well. it's scary, right? Because you don't know what the outcome is. You don't know if you're going to get hurt or you're... Right. But you have to be willing. Disappointed or you're going to yeah. fail or, you know, all yeah. of those yeah. fears that come into it. But yeah. no risk, no reward. Right. right. The greatest things in life come to you when you take risk. Oh, yeah. We didn't pick the risk taker for our lead. <gasps> I wonder what would have happened if we picked that. We picked uh, the guy next door, which is good. Maybe next time. But you know what? They're all related. Maybe all of us have a little bit of these categories in us. Maybe okay. all of us. Well, have. I think so. I think any time so that you're in a new romance and you're you're in a new relationship, you take a risk because we all have baggage right. that we bring to a relationship, right. right? And you know, you're you're fearful of being hurt, like you yes. were talking about. Right. But you have to take that risk and that leap and of faith that it's going to work out. Yeah. And like you said, you don't grow as a person unless you take those risks in life. Right. Absolutely. And I think that romance and being in a relationship is like, you know, that's a huge risk emotionally for people. It is. It's scary. It's scary. To expose your heart that way. To expose your heart and be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what another um, Kindle Love Stories audience member wants to ask us because they have the best questions because they're the best. You guys are the very best in the whole wide world and we love you. Okay, so this is from Susan. And Susan wants to know, well, so in this book, Madeline got this ranch out of nowhere and an inheritance, right? right. Yeah. 
what's your fantasy inheritance that's going to come to you that you didn't know some you know baron died or whatever Ooh. that you're related to that's a good question isn't that a good question yeah. thank you very much for that question that's we love awesome your questions question. keep them coming yeah. <clears throat> i don't know is it just a lump of money is that what we all money. let's say let's take that off the table you can't get a lump okay. of money as your inheritance so what's your fantasy that it's like a thing or an estate or a place that's for a, me it's somewhere in europe it's italy tuscany wow well, I always think those dream houses that oh, they yeah. give away on the, what is it, Better Homes and Garden or yes. whatever. Yes, HGTV. 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 And dream I look home. through and I do the, dream you know, raffle. all that stuff. And you go, you know, really, what would you do if you won that house? But, I mean, how cool would it be to just have some house, some vacation house? Yeah. That I always think of the vacation property house. taxes I, actually, that you suddenly have. Like you wouldn't think, but you can't think is that too, practical. too practical. Too practical. I need to take a leap of faith. Yeah. Okay, I'm a dork, but I almost want the ranch in Colorado. No, I, I'm not a dork. I'm like, yeah. I want somewhere that I don't have to fly all the way across the yeah. world. I want somewhere in the mountains, somewhere I can hike, somewhere that's beautiful and fresh air. I would take a ranch in Colorado, absolutely. I'll deal with the property taxes later. What about a condo later. in Hawaii, though? Condo yeah. in Hawaii I was would just be thinking, bad. Like in the Caribbean or something like that. I think that I, mm. I'm a warm weather, beach humid you beach girl <laughs> with beautiful sunsets. Yeah. This is not, not a timeshare. Time share. Like on the beach. On beach the beach. Girl. Yeah, because yeah. I'm a total beach girl. Yeah. Mm. So. I'll come. Okay, so what is your fantasy inheritance? What place mm. are you going to find out that you've inherited that you didn't know about? Tell us at our Facebook page, Kindle Love Stories. Okay, so we have to summarize okay. Homecoming Ranch. Ooh. What would you, in a word or in a sentence, how would you summarize what this book meant to you? I would say appreciating family and taking that leap of faith, right? Yeah, really she good. She took both the good ones. Haha, <laughs> I got two All first. right. Yeah. No, you're <laughs> right, though. That's what this book is all about at its core. I would say what I thought of it was taking the risk to love someone because it's all about putting her heart on the line and that was so scary for her and home is where the heart is right? homecoming ranch is i know but is. yeah homecoming see. ranch is where the heart is i like it i'd say <laughs> life isn't perfect oh, and life isn't perfect and life's beautiful when it's not perfect i really think for me the book is just about learning to let go and lead with your heart and not your head yeah yes Definitely. Yeah. So and that's why we like romances, because inevitably we know they're going to lead with their heart yeah. and not their head. And yeah. So You're that's, right. You know, what we all wish we could do all the time and sometimes can't do, right? That's so good. <laughs> or strive to do, right? No, you're right. absolutely exactly right. right. That's why we love romance, is that hope of things, maybe they'll get messy, but the messiness is where you're going to find the joy and the love and, and the happily ever after. And the happily ever after. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, wonderful right. book club as usual. That was Homecoming Ranch by Julia London. And thank you all out there for all of your votes to lead us to reading Homecoming Ranch with our guy next door with a twist of cowboy. <laughs> we had a great time reading this book and we've also had a great time hearing from you. So come talk to us and tell us, what do you want to hear about in book club? What do you want us to talk about? Hmm? We want to hear from you because this is the reason why Book Club is so wonderful. It's because of you. We love you. We love hearing from you. We love hearing what you think, what you want to read, and what you want to know. So come talk to us on our Facebook page, Kindle Love Stories. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. All right. To friends. The homecoming ranch. To family. 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 Homecoming ranch. And taking risks. Taking risks. Leaping. <laughs>